Hey there, Catherine from Tidy Milso here. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys seven laundry hacks that everyone needs to know. So, here we go. Hack number one, use a timer. I can't say how many times that we forget to check on our washing machine or check on the dryer and we leave clothes and then when it's time to do another load, we realize that we already had one in there, right? So by using a timer, it's definitely gonna help you uh, with your productivity and it's also gonna allow you to know how much time you have to do another task or another chore. Number two, now after all of your clothes is out of the dryer, one thing that really helps me is sorting first. So I'll sort tops, bottoms, undergarments, and sometimes I can get really specific and even do it by the drawer. This is very helpful so that when everything is folded and they're already sorted into piles, it makes it super easy to put everything away. Hack number three. I would definitely be remiss if I did not encourage you guys to declutter. So by decluttering, you're going to have less clothes, which means less laundry time, right? So that's less washing, that's less drying, that's less folding. So definitely decluttering. Um, also, if you need some tips on decluttering and kind of need a guide, um, if you're someone who is interested in minimizing the amount of clothes that you have, um, you can go towards a minimalist approach or you can even consider doing a capsule wardrobe. So what is a capsule wardrobe? A capsule wardrobe is actually a wardrobe where you are simplifying your clothing. So it's very specific to a monochromatic look. It could be whites and blacks. It could be a specific color. And it allows you to pair between different outfits. It also allows you to be more intentional about what you have in your closet. And you can pay attention to some of the tears and rips that happen with clothing. So if that's something that you are interested in, in terms of minimizing the amount of clothes that you have, then a capsule wardrobe is definitely the way to go. Hack number four, do not skip the folding. If you guys have watched the 12 Days of Folding, you guys know that I love to fold. Um, it's definitely a time for me to kind of take a beat and slow down and really just make space for gratitude. Um, oftentimes when I'm sorting my clothes, I'm sorting my clothes from my husband's clothes. And so during that time, I may use that time to say a prayer or to really just take in the moment of all that we have and all that we possess. So hack number four is to not skip the folding. Hack number five, fold it while it's hot. And every time I say that, I, I literally say it in my head, but I sing it, like, fold it while it's hot, fold it while it's hot. <laughs> it's just a quick, just fun reminder um, to fold my clothes while they're hot. And one reason why I stress folding clothes while it's hot is because it prevents your clothes from getting wrinkles and it prevents you from discouraging or becoming discouraged from a folding and then having to put away clothes when you see this mountain pile, you know, on your couch or on your bed. So that's hack number five. Okay, so hack number six is to use mesh bags. Using mesh bags are an absolute game changer. They're perfect for things that can get snagged or pulled during the cycle. For an example, bras, um, drawstrings, things like that. Um, another way to use mesh bags are for socks. I mean, how many times during a uh, laundry day do you lose a pair of socks and then we end up going to buy new ones because we can't find the other pair or throw out or donate the single sock because we can't find the other pair and then lo and behold, we find the other one, right? So mesh bags help keep the pairs together and um, it makes it easier um, when you're doing your cycles to have everything already here in the bag. So that's hack number six. Hack number seven is the best hack, and it's to not take on more loads than you can manage. Oftentimes we can get so overloaded with laundry and so backed up with laundry that we just wanna tackle it all at once. And while it may seem like the best idea, we end up exhausting ourselves from the entire process. So one of the things that I find very helpful 
is associating your family activities with your laundry schedule. So based on the family activities, that will determine when you're doing laundry, how you're doing laundry, and how many loads you can actually manage. Uh, personally, I only do two loads at a time, and that's really helpful for me. You know, one wash cycle, one dry cycle, one fold, that's it, that's done. By the time that I end up folding that first cycle, the next one is ready to go into the dryer. So usually it only takes me between two hours and 30 minutes to get everything done. But that works specifically for my family. So you just wanna make sure that, again, your laundry schedule is associated with your family activities and to not take on more loads than you can actually manage. All right, that's all the laundry hacks that I have for today. I hope that you found those hacks very helpful and that it encouraged you to have a little bit more fun while you're doing laundry. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Later.